Shan Daniels. I am 14 years old and I come from both the Trinidad Rancheria and Yurok tribe. I was born and raised in Humboldt County my whole life. My experience with substance abuse, I personally have not struggled with addiction, but I have definitely dealt with addiction in ways that are hurtful. I've struggled with it with my mother with my father, with a lot of people in my family. You don't need to struggle from abuse personally to be affected by it, pretty much. Because of my mom's struggle with addiction, we were removed from her care. I was separated from my brother and sister. I've moved from family to family's houses while my mom continued to fight addiction. Because of addiction, my dad He's been absent pretty much my whole life. Like, he comes and he goes, obviously, like a lot of addicts do. My mom, she fought and she tried, but addiction isn't something that's easy to overcome. And I wish I could under have understood that more because I was just left with the constant thought of, like, why are me and my brother and sister not good enough? Like, why does she always just have to go back to it? But now I realize that it's a lot more than that a lot lot more than that and it's not easy and i mean it puts a lot of people through pain unfortunately on august 30th my mom lost her battle to addiction she passed away which is also a day before my birthday so causing me to find out on august 31st my 14th birthday that my mother is gone and My advice to people out there struggling with addiction that have children is remember that you're not only hurting yourself, you're hurting a lot of other people with your addiction. You're not only bringing yourself down, you're bringing everyone down with you. Your choices you make, even if it's the smallest thing, you always got to think about your kids. Like you brought them into this world, it's your job to take care of them. And if you're struggling with addiction, you can't be your best at that you can't do your best job people in active addiction often make risky poor choices choices that don't only affect them but a lot of other people and my mom had made one of those choices and now she is no longer with us what helps me get through everything right now is just remembering that times weren't always bad there's a lot of good memories with my mom especially summer of 2019. The brush dances, the river trips, the car rides, the singing, just like everything, the camping. So I definitely need to focus more on that sometimes. My hope for myself is to break the cycle of addiction that my family has been in for quite some time. If there is one thing that I would want any kid to know that has parents or anyone, a loved one that is struggling with addiction is remember that it is not your fault.